Okay, so welcome to another um, Flutter quick bit. So today I'm going to talk about two plugin. Um, the first one is Geolocator and the second one is Geocoding. So Geocoding and Geolocator both are basically null safety uh, null safety dependencies. So you can use them safely in the latest uh, Flutter project. Alright, so uh, the idea for this project basically um, from my simple card here uh, and then through the checkout. So the idea here is that a uh, user can select um, their delivery method, either they want to pick up or they want to deliver. So if they would like to choose a delivery, uh, what I want to do in this application is that a uh, user can just select location and they get this they get this auto address display here and if they like to modify this address they can they, they can modify but this button here basically implement what we call as geolocator and geocoding so geolocator basically what it does uh, geocoder geolocator basically automatically access um, the phone uh, GPS sensor which will return um, much of uh, location information uh, such as uh, latitude and longitude. So what do you need to do now is you need to install geolocator and import geolocator into your into the project. So there are two library here, there are two dependencies here, Geolo geocoding and geolocator and uh, these are the current version at the time of the recording uh, and I'm going to go straight to the to the uh, class that handle that so this is the class that handle uh, checkout page uh, location button, so let me look for the location widget Okay, so this is the widget elevated button this is elevated button and this is method call get user current location so we go to this method straight away so in this method we have the um, synchronization um, method that we call uh, await determine position then and execute get place and pass value. So in the determine position, what it does, this method down here. So this method basically first will check if the service is enabled or not. So make sure that the geolocator is enabled uh, and uh, it will return uh, location service are disabled and don't allow you to continue and check for permission. So if the permission is granted, uh, then it can it will proceed. If the permission is not granted, it will return this error. Uh, and if the, the permission is denied forever, it will return this error also. Uh, but if everything is okay, it will return geolocator get current position. So it will get user current position through determine position method. So the return, it will return back to value but of course you need to do some uh, try and check uh, try and catch i didn't do that here so uh, you might as well need to include uh, if statement but if everything uh, if the method return a value which is the position value uh, and then it will basically uh, proceed to get place value so proceed get place value uh, get place and pass value so value is a position uh, and then here what we have this is where we we convert the value into address so there's a library uh, uh, the geolocator library basically allow you to implement place uh, mark from coordinate uh, so the place mark from coordinate basically we pa uh, pass these two value and then we'll return um, place mark which contain addresses 
Uh, these addresses uh, allow you to extract all the uh, information such as uh, the name of the place, sub-locality of the place, locality, administrative area, postal code, and finally country. So we can just extract all the information from the array, the first array that, that it found. Uh, so this is just basically just to build uh, the address uh, and finally our controller here that uh, that deals with this uh, text field uh, will be assigned to address. Uh, but before you can use this, you need to make sure that your Android manifest, uh, you need to update permission for Android manifest, uh, access find location, access cost location and finally internet. Uh, and then uh, you don't have to uh, implement any uh, Google uh, services. Uh, this is so far you can use this for free, the service to extract or to return address uh, information. So far, um, there's no uh, binding to uh, Google API just yet, which means that you can still use it for free. Uh, and then you, when, when you move around, let's say, let me change the uh, location um, for my AVD here. So I'm going to change to, let's say, let's say somewhere not in the in the current position so let me change that to somewhere near Changdun here all right so this is the, the address so set location uh, i'm going to uh, i'm going to click on this location again so at the moment this is the current location that previously um, extracted so if i click on this you get new address okay 5353 kampung baru Changlun, Changlun, uh, kedah so that basically how you retrieve uh, what we call as um, use a geocoder and geolocator. Uh, you get uh, the latitude and longitude information first, uh, which is um, implemented through this get current position. Uh, but once the get current pos uh, position is written, it will pass to this get place and get place uh, will look for the address through place mark from coordinate and basically get the first address it found so you can actually it basically written a, a number of addresses here but what you need to do now is just get the first address it found so that we consider it is basically the first address uh, or the correct address that that, that the the user want so yeah just a quick update <clears throat> you can download uh, the code from my github account so um that's all uh, next, later on, I'm going to talk about map, so that's for another topic. So, I think that's all for a quick, um, quick bit for Flutter today. Uh, and how you can implement um, address, how to get address from latitude and longitude information. That's it. Have fun with your Flutter. Bye-bye.